The project shown in this video can be found in the textbook Technical Drawing 101 with AutoCAD available from SDC Publications. All right, I'm going to go ahead and draw the front view of an object. I'm going to add a dimension for the width of that. And this dimension is going to be 3.00. And that dimension represents what we call the nominal size of this object. Now, the nominal size is the size that we add or subtract a tolerance to. So in this case, I'm going to use a tolerance of plus or minus 0 0.01 inches. And so this represents 1 one-hundredth of an inch of tolerance. And what that means is that we can add a hundredth of an inch to 3.00 or we can subtract a hundredth of an inch. So if we add a hundredth of an inch, the width of our part at its widest could be 3.01. And if we subtract a hundredth of an inch, the width of the part at its narrowest could be 2.99. And we call these the 3.01 and the 2.99 the limits of the size of this part. Now, another thing that we do is we take the part at its greatest size, which is would have its most material in it, and we actually label that, or think of that as maximum material condition. And this is abbreviated as MMC. And whenever we see it in a feature control frame in a dimension, which we'll talk about later, we might even see it in a circle with just an M like that. It all means the same, same thing. Maximum material condition, MMC, or this circle with an M inside of it. When the part is at its smallest size, which in this case, or when the feature is at its smallest size, which is when this feature is at 2.99, we say that it's at its least material condition. I'm just going to abbreviate material, and I'm going to abbreviate condition. And designers refer to this as LMC. All right, so we have the nominal size which is our 3.00. We have our tolerance which is the amount that the part can vary from the nominal size. And in our case, this is given as a plus or minus, which we call a bilateral tolerance because we can either add or subtract. When we add our tolerance right here to the nominal, we find our maximum, maximum material condition in this case. And when we subtract our tolerance from the nominal, we get to 2.99, which is our least material condition.